When we fold this paper in half, the front of it is looks blank for now because we're going to fill this part in. So fold it in half. And then you're going to want to open it back up and cut along the dashed lines that are here. We have quite a few people missing, so I am recording even this part of it. That is all you're going to need the scissors for, so when you're finished with them, just set them to the side. This is going to go into your spiral notebook, but we'll glue it after we're finished. <clears throat> I need to see pencils ready. As you saw by previewing chapter three, it is all about inequalities. We have some symbols for inequalities that we use. At this point, I need you to put down the scissors and be with me for writing the notes. You can do the cutting after. We're going to label this top one as less than. The symbol for less than looks like this. When we graph these, we also have some information on the line itself that has to do with the dots that we put on the place where the arrow starts. You'll understand more about this in a second. I want you to put an open circle here. And we're going to open this up and take some notes on the inside. An example would be x is less than 4. On our number line, let's just start with this being the zero. We show that, the, that x is less than four when we circle the four. And then we draw an arrow showing that everything less than 4 could make x true. So the arrow is going to go to the left. We use an open circle because 4 would not make x true. x is less than 4 means that anything below 4, even 3.99, would make x true. So there's a whole bunch of different things we could put in there for x. And that's one of the big differences with inequalities. We're used to thinking equals and it's a specific number. And with inequalities, it's a whole bunch of numbers. Anything less than 4 would make this, this inequality true. And we're showing that with the number line. Let's close that flap. We're going to do the next one. Takes a little bit more writing, less than or equal to. Less than or equal to has more words in it, and the symbol has an additional <coughs> line as well. It's less than, and this line down here means or equal to. And when we're graphing it, the circle gets filled in. So we're going to open up the flap now. 
And our example for this one is going to be x is less than or equal to 8. I'm going to start with 4 here, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One thing you'll notice when you start doing some problems with these, you're going to decide what numbers go on the number line. Just picture a whole number line and you're zooming in on the place that we need to focus on. What number do we have to have on this line? 8. And we're going to put our circle there. But this is saying x is less than or equal, equal to 8. That means we're going to fill in the circle because 8 is included in the numbers that would make this true. If x is less than or equal to 8, 8 counts and so does everything on the number line below it, even going into negative numbers. We're going to close that flap and we're going to move on to greater than. Greater than symbol looks like an arrow pointing to the right. When we have a circle on the number line, it's going to be open. We're going to open up and we're going to use a different variable. Instead of x, we're going to use a is greater than 5. I'm going to zoom in on my number line here, starting with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. My example is A is greater than 5, so I'm going to circle the 5 and leave it open because 5 is not part of the set that makes this true. And this time, what direction is the number line? Right, right. It's going to go to the right. Everything above the 5 makes this number line true or makes this inequality true. And we're using the number line to visually show where the numbers are that would make this A work. I could plug in any number to the right of 5 for the A, and this inequality would be true. Fourth flap, greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to has more words. It also has the additional part of the symbol. And we use more ink on the number line because we fill in that circle. It's the silly things that help me remember. These use more ink all the way. Do you see what I mean by that? I had to write more words. I had to add to the symbol and I have to fill this in. It helps me remember when I'm graphing. Okay, example that we're going to do y is greater than or equal to negative 3. I am going to put my 0 here. And then I have to circle what number? And am I filling in the circle? Yes. And then the arrow is going to go to the right. We have one final flap to fill in. And this time, we're going to show not equal to. The symbol looks like this. 
because we're going to show that it's not equal to. Our circle is going to be open. Let's open this up. The example we're going to use is x is not equal to 3. Bless you. One, we're going to start at zero and go up to one, two, three, four, five, six. Anybody want to guess how we're going to show this one on the number line? We go both ways. We're going to open the circle at three and the line goes both ways. Everything would make x is not equal to three true except the number three. So we almost have an infinite number of answers except the three.